Okay, so second lot of pancakes. Now these ones are, in Britain, we call them drop scones. I think Americans just call them American pancakes and they're normally the style that they have like for breakfast with maple syrup and bacon and stuff when they stack them. So for this, we're gonna need 250 grams of plain flour, 25 grams of butter, pinch of salt, little bit, little bit of oil for the, uh, the pan. We're gonna need 25 grams of sugar, caster sugar, two eggs, 250 mils of milk, teaspoon of baking powder. Then that makes up the ingredients for the drop scones or American style pancakes. Note that you're gonna to need to melt the butter. So do that however best suits you to be honest. Okay, so flour and salt gone into the bowl. Then you give it like the, the whisk just to break it down, aerate it. Then you need to add your sugar and your baking powder. Then just bring that together again with your whisk. Then you need to make a well, then you add, your, basically you put your eggs in and then half of the milk. This is where you're gonna need your butter, your melted butter, because once you start to put the milk in, you're gonna add in the eggs have gone in, so Mrs B's doing this one because uh, Keen decided to go and eat the pancakes that he made on the last video. So the milk, half the milk goes in. Start to whisk this in the middle and then the flour starts to fall in around. The aim here is to bring this together like a thick paste before you add any more milk and your melted butter. Okay, so we've got a thick paste. So what we need to do now is your melted butter goes in. Bring that together. Then you add the rest of the milk and then just start to bring that together again. So as you can see, it's come together, so it's supposed to be thick and pourable. So like the British version is like single cream, this is a lot thicker. You can see that on the whisk, it's a lot thicker. So you just need to make sure it's thick and pourable. Okay, so what they say, well the best thing to do is get a bit of kitchen paper, a bit of oil on and oil your pan on the heat and then just put it on the medium heat before you put your pancake mix in. Okay, so you'll notice it's a thicker batter. So pour it in. You're trying to get the best you can of a disc. And you'll notice on this that bubbles will start to come through as it's cooking. And that's what you want to be looking out for. When then bubbles are coming through and you start to see the pancake drying out, that's the time to flip it. So you, now you can notice it's drying out, the bubbles are starting to appear. So really, this is getting to the point now where you'd flip this and then cook the other side for about a minute. Just keep checking it once you've done the other side. Okay, so that's the drop scones or American style pancakes done. Um, like I say, it's really easy, just as easy as a British style. But what we like to put on these, sort of keeping it traditional, is some maple syrup. So just pour a bit of maple syrup to finish it off. And as you can see, that is drop scones or American style pancakes. Really easy. And enjoy. <laughs>